So quiet hiring uh, is not new. Um, we talked about it in HR language. Uh, I'm a little older. Um, so HR language we're used to using is like job enrichment versus job enlargement. And what that essentially was is rather than making somebody's job more fulfilling and elevating the skill set and swapping out things as they become more efficient, you just keep adding things to their plate. Right. So job enlargement is just adding to the role scope creep. Right. For people that are contractors, it's just adding to the role and making the role bigger and bigger and bigger without promotion, without increases in pay, without deferentials for additional duties. We're just uh, and other duties as as necessary. Right. That line on the bottom of a job description. And so it's just loading things in. And so that's um, we're calling it now quiet hiring is that supervisors, jobs, organizations are quietly filling vacancies, right, by adding bodies and role, p p jobs to people's roles that would have been another job or would have been somebody else's promotion, no title or another FTE or full-time employee, et cetera. We're just silently adding things on to you and get rid of that line, right? We've done it. They do it through layoffs at times where they'll lay people off and then have to re, you know, we just, we, we want you to take on these additional duties for a little while and the time just keeps rolling by. And after a while, it's just your job now. You've owned it. But no one sat down and said to you, you've taken on more tasks than we initially hired you and interviewed for. Your role has changed and evolved. Here's how we are going to compensate and acknowledge that growth. It's just, it's on your, it's, it's on your desk and it's yours. So that's really essentially how quiet hiring generally happens and what it is.